Thanks, John. When I was a lump of a lad about 60 years ago, allowed to stay up late on a Saturday evening in the summertime, a man used to come over our road defying the laws of gravity by stepping on his feet. <laughs> He said one time, it wasn't the length of the road that done him in, it was the width of the road. <laughs> My mother would shout out, don't be inveigling him in. Well, only we inveigled him in, we would have died in the pit. <coughs> he showed us how to make horse hair loops catch the grey linnets and the ghoul finches in the sperry whenever the mill went away. He showed us how to tie flags and he showed us how to put a muzzle on a ferret. <laughs> Smart people in this country, we can make bombs that will blow the backside of you, not one that could show you how to put a muzzle on a ferret. <laughs> And he showed us how to play the Jaws harp. It used to be called Jews harps, but they're not allowed to say that now. You get six months in jail. For that. <laughs> you only need two fingers and one thumb on that hand to hold it. And you only need one tooth. <laughs> Put it up against the tooth. And you only need one finger on the other hand. This is not a concertina. <laughs> against your teeth like that and your <laughs> keep your teeth open enough to allow this part here which is called the tongue to go back into your mouth just like that <laughs> when that happens you have two tongues in your mouth of the wand <laughs> this tongue here and your own tongue now you have to keep your own tongue well away from this tongue or you could end up with no tongue. <laughs> then between, from your top lip to the bridge of your nose, you make a sound like story about Johnny, I'm not going to tell it, but I did say to my mother when I was old enough to put up my cheek and stand far enough away from the length of her arm and whatever size the dish cloth was. <laughs> my father died the year I was born and my mother reared us up and she was like a circus showman with the dish cloth. She could lap it round your lug <laughs> half a mile away. I said, why do you not want us to ask poor old Johnny in here? Old Johnny Haley was his name, and he played the single row melodeon. And he had wee sounds that he would sing when he was playing the melodeon. But the sets and things like that. I could have him all right, my mother says, only for his old blackguard songs. So there weren't blackguard songs at all. Well, we sang when he'd be playing the melodia. She wouldn't do, she wouldn't do, she wouldn't do the call in the bed or out the bed or up in the wild. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there was nothing wrong with it. <laughs> if she wouldn't do it, so there's damn all you could do about it. <laughs> but I'd sing one 
of Johnny's blackguard sounds like that. But I have to be asked to sing. Well, I sing it. Now you asked for a song and I'll sing as I tell. It's about a fair maiden that I know quite well. And her name it is Mabel, a beautiful lass. And the song that I sing is about Mabel's ass. Give me a son to errands and thunder in me. Now a promise to Mabel her father did make. She could have if she wanted for exercise sake. An ass or a pony it was her own choice. So she took a big ass with a beautiful voice. E -oh -oh. Let's go to me ass and to ends and thunder in me. Out riding next morning, sure me build it go. Around to the neighbours, her ass for to show. They were all laughing as by then she passed. But everyone said she had an elegant ass. Go! Give me ass and two errands and thunder in me. She rode round all morning, then galloped straight home. And her big ass got covered with sweat and with foam. She called the young fellow to fetch some dry grass and go into the stable and wipe down her ass. Get me ass and two errands and thunder in me. <laughs> Out riding one morning down the road she went past, and a lad with a stick gave a job to her ass. The owl as he bolted fell into a hole, and over his head sharp poor Mabel was thrown. <laughs> Get me ass and two errands and thunder in me. Well, the carried her home, she recovered next day. But her big ass was covered all over with clay. The neighbours were talking north, east, west and south. In fact, Mabel's ass was in everyone's mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, now to conclude and to finish my song, so the old ass is dead and now Mabel's long gone. But there's one thing I'll tell you if by there you pass, there's a hell of a smell now from Mabel's big ass. <laughs> Got me ass and two errands and thunder in me.